Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trends. And we've had a lot of comments from people asking why their WhatsApp is stuck when they're trying to upload to an iCloud backup. It seems that this is a really common issue. So in today's video, I will tell you and show you the factors that you need to check. And then also I can show you the easiest way to back up your WhatsApp data. So let's start straight away with the first tip, and that is to check that you have enough storage. Before you take any drastic measures to fix that WhatsApp iCloud backup, the first thing you should probably go and do is just check that there is enough space in your iCloud. If your iCloud is running out of space or doesn't have enough space, then that just means that that process won't be completed. You can check your device's iCloud storage from here in the settings. And if you don't have enough storage, then either clear some space or you can just upgrade to buy a little bit more storage that you'll need to help you with that WhatsApp backup. Number two is to reset the network settings. And there's a reason why you might need to do this. Sometimes users can just overwrite their network settings and it's complete accident, but that is absolutely fine. But that is sometimes one of the reasons that stops and makes that WhatsApp backup a little bit more difficult. And the way to fix this is really quick and simple. And it is just to reset the network settings of the iPhone. So let me tell you how you can do it. Just go into settings, general, reset, and tap that reset network settings button. And it is as easy as that. And that may help you with your WhatsApp backup that is stuck. The next thing that could actually help is just to force restart your iPhone. This is just one of those oldest tricks in the book where you turn something on and off or reset it. And then a lot of the times that can fix the problems that you are having. And this works really well on iPhones as well. And what it does is it resets the device's power cycle and then gets rid of any of that stored data cache that is on your phone that could be causing the problem. And here are some different ways to force restart your iPhone. And this is for the iPhone 8 and newer models. So what you need to do first first of all, is firstly, quick press the volume up button. And as soon as you've done that, hold the side button and release it once the device restarts. And that hopefully will fix a couple of the problems. But another thing that you can do to help fix problems, and that is not even restarting it, is just to check the firmware that your iPhone or iOS device is actually on because if you're using an old firmware, that could just be the problem. Best thing to do is go and update that firmware and get it up on the latest iOS. This is easy and you might have done it a thousand times before, but just to remind you, all you need to do is go into your settings menu, go to general, tap on software update and see if there is a newer update of the software that you are on. You then just tap on the download and install now. It does take a couple of minutes to update the iOS firmware. That's absolutely normal. And then hopefully, if you needed to update your iOS firmware, once you get back onto it, that can resolve that problem that you're having with the WhatsApp. And now we have got step number five for you as well. And step number five is actually to go ahead and use the mobile trans software. If any of the tips that we've given you in this video have not solved the issue already, then that is when you can go ahead and use that Wondershare Mobile Trans WhatsApp backup. And to do this is really easy. And the first thing that you should probably go ahead and do is just connect your iOS device to your computer. Then of course, go ahead and launch Mobile Trans Wondershare. And then there is an option there where you can click that WhatsApp chat backup. From here, the application will automatically detect your device and give you the options and tell you the data that it can back up. After you've gone through that and you've made sure that all the data you wanted to back up can be backed up, all you have to do is press start. Once you've hit start, what the application will do next is take an extensive backup of all of your WhatsApp chats. And as it is doing this, all you need to make sure is that you don't disconnect your phone from the computer, sit back, give it a couple of minutes. And once the process is then completed, you'll also get a notification to let you know that all of your WhatsApp chats have been backed up. If you want then to go and restore that WhatsApp chat backup that you've put into the mobile trans software, you can do that on a completely different iOS device. If that's something that you wanted to do, then go ahead and connect your new device. When in mobile trans, just click on that WhatsApp module. Afterwards, just select that WhatsApp chat backup that you want to restore on the new phone, give it a couple of minutes, and then it is all done. 
Hopefully there we have given you some tips that have really helped you out and has helped you fix any problems you are having with restoring or backing up your WhatsApp chats. If this video helped you out, then why not subscribe to the channel so we can give you a couple more tip videos just like this. If you really enjoyed it, then a like on the video would be great as well. And we will see you on the next video.